Number 9, so it's finally time for us to react to the free new character gameplay. In this case, we have a new Dodoni, Gantenbein, and also Saruchi. Pretty excited to check out the gameplay, many of their specials. Not expecting anything super crazy because this is a mid-month banner. It's also based from Espada, or Brother on Espada, right? But I will say I'm quite satisfied with the character choice in here. Obviously, I was a tad bit disappointed we did again out in Yodo once more, but still to get a new Dodoni, Saruchi in their base forms, their first canon 5 stars with Gantenbein getting his first 5 star, it's pretty cool cool for us to overall just round up the overall Bleach roster, right? Eventually, they're gonna run out of characters, and eventually, we're finally gonna get Alan Yoda, right? Surely. Um, either way, let's check out the gameplay. A big ups to Oliver. Shout out to him. Had it on two times speed. So, we're starting off with a live Ganton Vine. Okay. Look at that model. That model looks absolutely... It looks weird. It looks weird. I'm not gonna lie. But it's his first five star, right? So, the main thing about this character, he is a good valued character. What I like about this the most is that he's another premium Link Stop Farmer with the Soul Tray. So, you don't have to pick him up now. You can pick him up later on in around six or so months time he will start to become a tad bit more common as a filler but most importantly if you are saving your summon tickets for the anniversary there's a decent chance you walk away with him or momo so more links up farmers please in the premium pool we love to see it right we absolutely love to see it um it also does mean that he himself is a links up farmer you can use him although he isn't anything super crazy especially because he's in a the problem with him that i have right now is that he's in a ranker right and that means like he doesn't really mesh well with the other characters in the speed attribute that farm links or potions, that being Soripers. Nadring looks super basic, I'm gonna be honest, but it's nice to see him running around. Like, I've never played with a four star, so this is my first time seeing him in game. He looks cool, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> the Afro's cool. I guess. Is that the SA1? So I actually haven't even checked the strong attacks. I've, I've yet to see it because they didn't get data mined. So SA1 looks to be a small AOE in front of him. That's pretty good. SA2 is a lunch. That's also pretty good. Looks like it has decent range to it. And then I'm gonna assume his SA3 is, uh, it's not a full screen. It's a AoE in front of him that kind of drags them in. It's very similar potentially to Jackie's SA3, which isn't too bad. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Okay, man, let's hit us with the punches. How is he not a flurry character? I know his soul bomb has like, oh, he used the flurry of attacks. Why is bro not a flurry character? I mean, it's a pretty cool soul bomb. Not super crazy. That's very similar, by the way, to the Yamamoto SA3 that we had. But we can actually see a Zampak toilet, which is kind of cool. Cool. Man's hitting us with the JoJo combo. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. So, Gantin Bain, eh, you know, it, very basic visuals. I'm not going to lie. It's a base from Gantin Bain. Attack wise, he's going to be good for Epic Raids. That's the main place you're going to use him. I guess you now can farm IZ, right, for Links or Potions. And I guess you can take him in there. But he's mainly just going to be an Epic Raid farmer. For anyone that is a fan of this character, you can use him as a character. But most important, he is designed to be a Link. Let's be honest, right? He's there to be a Link. Uh, also, noting in the gameplay his afro actually has like a jiggle to it just kind of cool i guess i don't know it's it's funny it's not as static right but the soul bomb yeah it looks all right would have liked more voice acting though he doesn't like he doesn't growl or scream that would have been cool if he had that next up though we have the lad Doni, so we're ending off with saruchi let's see it model has definitely been upgraded he looks cool in his little pose i like it so Dodoni is the only non-farmer in this banner right but he does hold some value we have been desperate need for a character like this and i'm kind of happy that it is a premium character, right? So in this case, he's designed to be used in the melee or reigns, most importantly, melee, a, a Sparta Guild quest. And the thing is that he is a SA2 booster SA2, which is great because that is what the Aspartas have been lacking. There's really no good Asparta booster. And now we finally have a good one with the booster skill. That is great right there. Hopefully his SA2 is at 800 AOE in front of him because that overall makes him a tad bit better, right? So for most people out there, this character isn't anything super crazy, but for us Guild Quest heads, this is a good character. This is definitely a good character. And at the same time, like, his damage output ain't even too bad, too. Like, he has, well, like, 100% Berserker with 30% full stam as a soul trait. For a premium character, I mean, it could have been worse. I'm actually quite happy with the outcome here. In this case, the Nad String, uh, definitely a downgrade compared to the Calm Fjord version, because the Calm Fjord one has, like, really good Nad String. He's a Nad character, though, but he is in his resurrection form, so he has that going for him, right? SA1 appears to be a launch forwards. His SA2? That looks to be a beam. Around him. Hmm. It could be an a it could be a distant A It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell because you really can't get much from the visuals here. Very basic visuals, I will say. Uh visually, they're not selling me in the characters, I'll be honest. But these are base form characters. Usually they don't like anything super exciting, especially for mid-month characters. But that SA2 is either an AOE around him. It's either a distant AoE or it's a, it's a beam forward. Either way, it should be good for sinking in Guild Press. That's the main thing, right? SA3, though, appears to be a full screen attack. It does have some 
Fast visuals to it. Fast visuals. And let's do the saw bomb. Surely they're, they're cooked with Dodoni, right? Surely. Okay. 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 All right. Uh, you know, I think it started off good. It started off good and ended, it ended uh, a bit weak in my opinion. Maybe it was the camera angle, but this is funny. Look how much it's done. Is that bro is quicker than goku look how that that was like frame like how many frames is that like literally frame power through. look at that <laughs> look at his face too much cheesing okay that's a fun song though i like it masha's posing too yeah his mother looks good dodoni rarely disappoints I like this album. It saved the character. Next up, though, we have Saruchi. And lads, I've never been much of a Saruchi simp, but this artwork is doing something for me. Look at her. Hopefully, she looks good. Hopefully, she looks good. I'm excited for this. Look at the model. The model looks up. The model looks good. The model looks good. She definitely has been upgraded compared to the, uh, you know, her calm for old version, which. You know, the bug form doesn't do much for me, lads. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Now, in her case, she's just going to be a link sort of farmer for the power attribute. And you can use it as a link to farm droplets. So, again, once more, she has some good value here. If you are a Saruji fan that wants to farm with this character, you can do that. You can take it into IZ, Epic Raids, Droplet Zone, for example. She's going to be too bad. Once more, though, my problem with this character is that she she gets stronger the more Arankas you have in your team. But the problem with that is, like, there isn't that many Arankas in the power attribute that you're going to be using in Epic Raids. So, she doesn't really benefit from it. I would love to see that front of the Soapers, though, I will say. Right now, it's only been an Aranka thing, which I understand that there isn't that many Aranka, so that's why it's a, it's a pretty big buff. But that's why I want a Soaper to get it, because you're always playing with other Soapers, so that will be kind of cool. Yeah, model looks cool. That final hit of the Natring looks nice. Natring does feel a bit slow, though, but she's an SP character. It doesn't matter. Alright, SM1 appears to be a AoE in front of it, like a little vortex, very similar to Bruno. Looks to be quite fast. Usually that SA1 isn't the greatest in Epic Raids, but it isn't that big of a deal. And by when I say it's not the greatest, it locks you in place. So you gotta make sure you know how to play with that SA1 when taking it into Epic Raids, right? Don't use it all willy-nilly. So SA2 is a beam SA1. Again, looks pretty cool. And then it has it three to four screen. So when it comes to strong attacks for Epic Raid content, yeah, she's gonna be just fine. She's gonna be just fine. Visually, very basic, but I'm fine with it. Let's see the soul bomb. God, hey. I whip me. Hey. Oh, oh, I, I liked it. I like it. I like it. I like it. It, it. It's getting the pass for me. Oh, let's go back though. Let's go back. So, look at that. Look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Honestly, though, it's a pretty decent soul bomb. Because what I like about this, we we talked about it with Macy, right? I like it when soul bombs don't feel empty. And this soul bomb really doesn't feel empty, right? We have a different color background. It feels a bit unique. It feels a bit different. We can tell the scene where they're in. And then we can see all the, you know, pillars that were during the fight against Uryu. It was Uryu and Pesce, right? And it has some good movement to it. I like the pullback too. And then we get a nice little pose of her just looking down at you. It's a decent soul bomb. For a base form Saruchi, I'm a fan of it. I don't mind it. I think these soul have a bit of personality to them, which I do like. It's very basic attacks, but I, I kind of like the animations for him, right? I think Caleb did a decent job given how limited they were in these attacks. But yeah, that's basically the three new characters coming to the game, right? In the comments below, let me know how you would rank these characters based on the visuals. For me, probably Sorochi number one, Dodoni two, Ganton Bane number three. That's how I'm going to rank him. But like I said, the great thing about these characters is that you don't want to pull for them, right? You don't want to pull for them. These are characters that are great to pick up in future banners when they're fillers or from tickets. And that's the most important part, right? It's a very easy skip, but I definitely want to pick up all three of them going forward into the future. In terms of what I want to get though, in terms of what like their skills and stuff and what they offer from my account. Ganton binds number one, many for that sword trait. It's very good to have. You want to get dupes of him too to farm, you know, single player IZ and make that actually worthwhile. Number two would be Dodoni because he's a Guild Quest character. Really gonna be good in Guild Quest nuking with Okiro, for example. Gonna be a great side for that. And then number three would be Saruchi because she's just a Link Sword farmer. Like Link, it's great that she is one. It's great that Ganton binds one too. Like Link Sword farmers are great. It means they have value, but I already have access to to most of the links of farmers so just just being a links of farmer isn't enough for me right unless i'm a big fan of the character unless they do a lot of damage i'm not really going to be using you in saruchi's case it's nice if i get her but i don't need her right but gandamane and dodoni i definitely want to get on my account but not on this particular banner i'll wait for them to be a filler or just get them from tickets right everyone should be setting up your tickets so hopefully on the anniversary july 23rd we walk away with the eighth anniversary character or some of these characters right i would love to get mumble or gantabine from my tickets it'd be really really good but with that said hope you guys enjoyed the video checking out the free new character gameplay yeah, all right it was all right i'll see you guys next time though take care and peace